The White House is strongly condemning the murder of four Americans kidnapped by Somali pirates. They're the first Americans killed by pirates in recent years. And friends and family gathered at a service yesterday in Southern California to remember the longtime sailors. CBS News Chief National Security Correspondent David Martin is at the Pentagon with more on this for us this morning. David, good morning. Good morning, Chris. This operation involved four warships, reconnaissance aircraft, and Navy SEALs. But, but in the end, it was not enough to save the lives of those four Americans. A Navy destroyer was just 600 yards behind the yacht, negotiating with the 19 pirates who were trying to take their prize to Somalia, where they could hold their hostages, Gene and Scott Adam and Phyllis McKay and Bob Riggle, for ransom. We understood that if they got to shore, it was going to be a really bad situation. We also understood that the Navy was doing their best to prevent them from getting to shore. Negotiations were still going on when suddenly the pirates fired a rocket-propelled grenade at the destroyer, and gunfire broke out in the cockpit of the yacht. Navy SEALs scrambled into small boats and boarded the yacht without firing a shot. Two pirates were already dead. Most of the rest came out on deck with their hands up. The SEALs searched below decks and found two more, killing both of them, one with a knife. Inside the cockpit, they found the four Americans mortally wounded. My aunt was not dead when, she, when the Navy SEALs arrived on the ship. She had been shot. She was not dead at that time. And they did try to save her, but they were unsuccessful. The pirates had begun arguing among themselves over what concessions to make in the negotiations, and one of them apparently decided to settle the argument by killing the hostages. Chris? CBS's David Martin for us. David, thank you.